Welcome back guys, my name is Death, and today I'm going to be showing you a map making tutorial, and this is not going to be a redstone tutorial. So as you can see right there is a redstone lamp, so once we go right near it, boom. What is this? What is this sorcery? <gasps> Some items! Whoa, alright, so. What, what is, like, being done here is just a spawner right on top of this redstone lamp. Now on top of it, it doesn't need, it doesn't really matter. As you can see here, this is a combined spawner. So once I go near it, chests will spawn. And if I break one, it will respawn again. And yeah, and this requires some MC edit tricks and I'll be showing that to you in a bit. So uh, let's hop on to MC edit. And yes, this does have some items in it so yeah so first of all we are, we are going to make the platform that we are going to be putting on well you don't need to make a platform so all right so I'm gonna make like this circular path that should be even now this does require some uh, NBT edit, but I'm using in game NBT edit since it's e much easier to edit in game. So, yeah, alright, so my center point is going to be right here. I'm going to mark that. Chests are going to be spawning right here. Right there. And I'll be making a hole right there. Alright, now once you're done with your chests, um, well, you can choose wh wherever your spawner will be. I'll just choose the middle and making it so once I spawn, chests will appear. Alright, so we'll be grabbing some stuff like a blaze rod and put like eight under pearls right there, eight under pearls, blocks of diamonds, ink sacks, bunch of redstone, and like splash potion of fire resistance and, and regeneration. Alright, so let's hop on to MC Edit. To see it in action. Alright, guys, welcome back. Now we are in MC Edit. I hope you can see this better. So, as you can see here, the, the yellow uh, boxes are the chests, and you will need uh, and the uh, filters from Sethbring, and I'm gonna link that down in the description. Alright, so, well, what we're gonna do here right now is gonna select the whole area, you know, only the chests. And let's put this up like that so it can only detect the chest, not anything else. And only the chest itself. Okay, so once we have selected all of our chests, we click on this uh, teapot right here, or this coffee thingy, which is filter. Then we go click on the filter and choose a filter. And we are, first I'm going to choose is Sandify. And let's just click filter. It needs to be like this. And we're now going to choose create spawners. And make sure to click on include position data right here. Click on filter and now it will make some some spawners for us. Alright, now what we're going to do is just change. Um, oh wait, we're going to get the create the combined spawners we're gonna choose combined combined spawners hit filter and now it will only detect which one it's gonna choose so it's gonna be spawning three I don't know why it does that but I'll try and fix that in the future alright so let's just um, alright so once that's done we just go back to the select make sure that's the only block we nudge that click on nudge then Put it down like that, then hit filter again, change the filter to change spawner properties, and I recommend minimum spawn delay of 3 if you, if you want it fast, and I mean maximum spawn delay is 3, then minimum spawn delay is 2, and current spawn delay is like 1. Detection range, it, you, you can decide, I'm just going to choose uh, 2, I mean uh, three and spawn radius is four 
So I once I hit filter, that's all done. We just need to press Control S. And now we're going back to the game Minecraft. All right, guys, I am back at the main Minecraft game. So as you can see, the chests are no longer here, and our platform is there, and there is a spawner. All right, so once we go near the spawner, some chests w should spawn right now. Oh, look at that! It spawned four. So it has our splash potions, laser rods, ender pearls, and this is completely reloadable. You know, as as I showed it to you. Hit that, destroy these chests. Uh, or it's just destroy it. Mark that and stand up right on top. It spawns the chests. Now you can, like, make it spawn in midair so you can have, like, room for the floor and chest will, like, fall there. I don't know how to make spawner minecarts yet, but if I do, I will make an update video and make a better version of this but today I'm just going to show you this uh, single um, chest spawner with items and yeah so I am going to learn more about this and this is a pretty neat thing to do it's like a Hunger Games thing this is going to be part of my mini game I mean our mini game because it's Yinsense and I alright so Thank you guys for watching, have a nice day, and this was a really quick tutorial, and it was really fun to do, since it only uses some simple touches of redstone. No, not redstone, MC Edit Magic. Alright, so thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day.